to the second and worst ever presidential debate. I'm Martha Raddatz. And I'm Anderson Cooper. And before we get, begin, uh, we just need to do one last thing. Much better. Now let's get this nightmare started. Please help us welcome the candidates, Republican nominee Donald Trump, and can we say this yet? Probably fine. President Hillary Clinton. <laughs> for being here. Thank you uh, for having me. I I'd like to begin tonight by attempting a casual lean. <laughs> Got it! Martha, tonight I'm going to do three things. I'm going to huff, I'm going to puff, and I'm going to blow this whole thing Tonight's debate is a town hall, which means we'll be taking questions from voters in the audience. They are undecided, uncommitted, and not remotely camera ready. <laughs> Secretary Clinton, we'll start with you. Your question comes from Patrice Brock. Hello. My question is, do you feel that you're modeling appropriate and positive behavior for today's youth? Hi, Patrice. Uh, let me uh, start by walking over to you just as I practiced. <laughs> right, left, right, left, right, left, plant, speak. Uh, now, uh, Patrice, you're a teacher? No. Uh, you have kids? No. You like kids? No. You've seen kids? Yeah. Okay, great. We're bonding already. Oh, my friend Patrice. Patrice, I, I strive to be a positive role model for all children. Uh, children like my daughter Chelsea and my granddaughter Chelsea Jr. <laughs> Mr. Trump, same question. Do you feel you're modeling appropriate and positive behavior for today's youth? No. Next. <laughs> so you don't care about the kids? Anderson, I love the kids, okay? I love them so much I marry them. <laughs> I've been helping kids my whole life. In 1992, I helped a kid named Kevin McAllister find a hotel lobby. <laughs> you might remember the documentary Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Okay, moving on. Mr. Trump, we received a lot of questions online about the audio tape that was released last week of you bragging about sexually assaulting women. Listen, what I said is nothing compared to what Bill Clinton has done, okay? He has abused women and Martha. Anderson, hold on to your nips and your nuts. <laughs> because four of those women are here tonight, four of them. Wait, I'm sorry, who's here? Mistresses? Bill, how could you? How will I go on with the debate? No, I'll never be able to remember my facts and figures now. Oh, Donald, no! Get real. I'm made of steel. This is nothing. Hi, girls. Martha, she is trying to silence these women, but they need to be respected. They need their voices heard. What about all the women accusing you of sexual assault? They need to shut the hell up. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Our next question is from Ken Karpowitz. Thank you. I've got a boring one. <laughs> the Affordable Care Act is not affordable. What will you do to bring the cost down and make coverage better? Well, uh, Ken, that's, that's a great question. I, I agree that Obamacare can be improved, Ken, uh, but Ken, it does have its benefits. Uh, number one, insurance companies can't deny you coverage because of a pre-existing condition. Number two, no lifetime limits, which, you know, is a big deal if you have serious health problems. And uh, number three, sorry. I, and um, number three, women can't be charged more than men. But I, we, women can't be charged more than men for health insurance. Okay. And number four. Okay. 
Okay, uh, let's take another question. This one comes from James Carter. Good evening, Mr. Trump. Oh, no. <laughs> My question is, do you believe you can be a devoted president to all the people? That is a great question, Denzel. Thank you for this question. <laughs> about the inner cities. My name is James, and I didn't ask anything about no inner cities. The inner cities are a mess, okay? Just last month, I was in Detroit, and everywhere I looked, there were violent, crazy people, and a lot of them had guns, and they were screaming horrible things like Trump for president. I think you were at one of your own rallies. Martha, this black man is attacking me. Also, speaking of black men, you know who else should be in jail? Hillary Clinton. She's committed so many crimes. <laughs> She's basically a black. <laughs> Secretary Clinton, do you wish to respond to that? No, go. <laughs> because as my best friend Michelle Obama once said, when they go low, you go high. God, I love that quote. Almost as memorable as when I said, trumped up, trickle down economics. <laughs> Just a couple of equally famous quotes from a couple of equally lovable women. <laughs> And now, since everyone has been so good, it's time for a special treat. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one, the only, Mr. Ken Bone. You all ready for this? I really needed that right now. No, wait, Ken, you're not gonna turn out to be a weird little creep or anything, are you? Maybe. God, we can't have anything nice. Oh, well. Well, we have time for one final question, and it comes from Carl Becker. Uh, good evening. My question is for Hillary. Tonight, Donald Trump said you should be in jail. He said you have hate in your heart, and he followed you around the stage like a shark. So my question is, what do you like about him? Well, this, this one's actually easy. Donald Trump and I disagree on almost everything, but I do like how generous he is. Uh, just last Friday, he handed me this election. <laughs> Mr. Trump, one thing you like about Secretary Clinton. I like that she's a fighter and that she doesn't give up, which is why I need all my supporters to get out there and vote on election day. Mark your calendars, write it down. Here's the date, it's November 35th. <laughs> and live from, from New York, York it's Saturday night.